Hello and welcome to this Make Explore art video. Now I'm going to explain a little bit of the background about creating this series because it's not like my other standalone videos. This tutorial is linked directly to my scheme of learning on Henri Matisse and colour and I usually teach this to year 7 students. However, it's ideal for up to year 9 students and therefore also 6th to 8th grade students in the US. I've created this three part series to give you an idea of how to create an artist's research sheet, which includes an image of Matisse's work, written information and your own comments, as well as a transcription or copy of the artist's work. This will then link to part two, the next video, where I'll guide you in developing your own photos linked to Matisse's work, creating a photo collage and then going on in part three to create an inspired paper cutout. This tutorial would normally form part of a demo at the start of the lesson and then I would give students time to complete the tasks over a series of weeks. So please join me for part two and part three where you'll see this whole scheme of learning unfold holistically. Now, let's get started. So today we'll be having a look at creating a artist page or if you like an analysis of an artist. My chosen artist is Henri Matisse and I have first of all looked at a little bit of a background information on his particular artwork that I'm interested in. So the artwork that I'm interested in is the Parakeet and the Mermaid. 1952 it was made and it's, it says gouache on paper cut and pasted and charcoal on paper. It's actually from the museum uh, in Amsterdam, but um, this particular image I've got from the Museum of Modern Art, so mama.org. You can see here that I've chosen a little bit of information and I've printed that off, um, off of the website. Um, and that gives me an idea of what this work is a little bit about but we always want to look at artwork so that we can discover our own meaning for what this artwork means to us so let's have a look at describing this artwork so this is my opinion and how i would describe the artwork and you will have your own opinion matisse has chosen to use seaweed like shapes to create his artwork as he may like being by the seaside or have an interest with the ocean they remind me of seaweed, okay? Maybe they remind him of that or maybe they didn't. But for me, it reminds me of seaweed. He may have been inspired by natural forms such as leaves, trees, weeds, or, uh, or things in nature to create this artwork. The seaweed shapes cover the huge paper background which also include a figure in the top of the corner. It looks as though the figure is dancing or floating. There are other shapes amongst the seaweed shapes could these be jellyfish perhaps? And then on this page, this is my copy, or if you like transcription, of this artwork here. And I've used some coloured pencils to make those seaweed-like shapes and what I call the sort of jellyfishes and cover my entire other side of my open book. So I've got a double page spread here which will form part of your artist inquiries or artist analysis work as you go through the year. Make sure to check out part two and part three of this Matisse artist research series. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Make Explore Art for more tutorials and see you next time.